Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters, <coughs> welcome to Youth Challenges. I'm your host, Fizal Mahmood, and alhamdulillah, I'm back with another episode of our show today, Youth Challenges. Now, so far in this show, we've covered a range of topics, starting from gang violence, knife crime, forced marriages, parents, um, and a number of very, very genuine and concerning topics for the youth. Today's topic is also one such topic. However, it is addressed from a different angle. Today's topic is on parenting. There are many different methods of parenting, the types of parenting which are preferential in Islam, and the influence and effect that the parenting can have on the youth and the youth's future and the youth's uh, sense of Iman and Deen. So today in the studio, Alhamdulillah, I have Mulan Ahmed Kareem Sahib with us. Mulan Sahib, Assalamu Alaikum. Wa Alaikum As Salaam. Mulan Sahib, first of all, thank you very much for coming on our show today. So Mulan Sahib, the, today's topic is on mm -hmm. parenting. Mm -hmm. Now, parenting is one of the very core factors mm. which shape and build an, a young person's personality mm. and their character. So that's why we've just, today we've decided to do an episode on parenting. So Mulan Sahib, I think before we begin our wider, wider discussion, mm -hmm. an important question I want to ask you is, what is the concept of parenting in Islam? Vishan, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, has a lots of ayah, many ayah in Quran that refers to take care of your children. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we look at the hadith, as Abu Hurairah reported that, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala created mercy into 100 parts. Okay. And Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala sent down only one part of mercy to this earth. And from that one part of mercy, such as that a horse raises its hoof over his, its child for the fear of trampling. Take care of an animal to take care of their children because of that mercy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has granted to animals. Wow. So what about the human as well? And you know that one of the uh, name of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Ar-Rahman, most merciful. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us this atmosphere, oxygen, give us this health, everything without asking. This Ar-Rahman. And there's another hadith, Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that the womb of mother, Raham, the word derives from Ar-Rahman. So Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam says that if a person is good to get and kin, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala having a good relation to that person. So to take care of that, to provide the nourishment because the womb, Raham, the where is, you know, like a child is getting the food, protection, care, Everything without demanding yeah. in mother's womb. Yeah. So there are the uh, hadiths and verses of Quran that reflect that. And this is the, and also Allah says, mm. Don't kill your children with the fear of poverty. So you don't have, We are providing you the provisions and we provide the provision to your children. Meaning, yes to provide the food, provide, provide the clothing, to provide to upbringing. It, it is the duty of parents and that is the mercy Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala already has granted to their hearts. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, Mulan Sahib, thank you for that very insightful information there. And Mulan Sahib, so having said that, let's look at some of the wider responsibilities mm -hmm. of a parent and uh, that a parent owes to a child and a child owes to a parent. So what are some of the rights of a parent over his child, uh, mm -hmm. her child, and what are the rights of a child over their parents? Yeah, uh, you know that the, there are the verses of Quran that shows that the, the, what are the rights the, the parents has, mm -hmm. like وَقَدَا رَبُّكَ لَا تَعْوَدُ إِلَّا إِيَّا وَبِالْوَالِدِينَ إِحْسَانَ إِمَّا يَبْلُغَنَّ عِنْدَ كَلْكِبَ رَحَدُهُمَا وَكِلَاهُمَا فَلَا تَقُلْ لَهُمَا أُفْفٍ وَلَا تَنْهَرْهُمَا أُفْفٍ Don't say oof to your parents. If one of them attain the old age, take care of them. Yes. Don't repel them. Don't say oof. Yes. Okay, you know, very interesting thing here. Interesting is, the, you know, the right of a child starts upon parents even before birth. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. How is that? Yeah. When, you know, the sperm drops, comes in your, you know, womb, now the, the creation, you know, the procedure starts there. Mm -hmm. Allah 
ثم ان شاء الله خلق اخر فتبارك الله احسن الخالقين الله سبحانه وتعالى tells us stages of the creation Allah says that we extracted you from the clay and then we put this sperm drop in a firm lodging mm. and that firm lodging turns into clinging clot that clinging clot turns into lump that lump has that bones then we cover these bones with flesh how blessed is the might of allah subhanallah who created you yeah. and this whole procedure where is going on in the womb of mom subhanallah and mom provides you know you know the calcium and the iron the deficiencies yeah. mom always have because your child is getting it yeah. so the right starts even before your birth yeah. on the other side the rights of parents even don't finish even their death after their death wow like you know the your uh, child doesn't come that and we start giving their rights and the other side if parents die waqfiz lahumma janah azzul min rahmati wa qur rabbi rahmhuma kama rabbayan then what you going to do you do dua oh allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be merciful to my parents as they were merciful as i was child so if we look at the dua of anbiya alayhi salam always anbiya alayhi salam made two type dua in two fold to have a good offspring solid children and maghfira of parents so parents right still there not only you be good to your parents in their life mm -hmm. you will be doing dua for your parents after their death wow. and here parents start giving you protection nourishment food even before your birth subhanallah wala sahab you know when you put it like that i was amazed because you know yeah. that it's it, it emphasizes the significance yeah. of parents and their duties towards yeah. their child so mulan sahab you know when looking at that and looking at today's day and yeah. age when we see the way that some youth treat their parents it's actually genuinely disheartening yeah. and upsetting yeah. because you know you, so, some youngsters they could be doing something wrong and when their parents say something to uh -huh. them yeah. they talk back and answer back as if you know they don't have any respect as if they don't have any gratitude you know in this day and age if someone does a small favor for you 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 show so much gratitude you say thank you so much for helping me yeah. what about the people who brought you into this life who yeah. gave you life who gave yeah. you health who gave you yeah. a house who gave yeah. you a st stable you know upbringing so you have a good future yeah. so it's it's just very disheartening yeah really. actually you know the fizan uh, this uh, this topic is very important mm -hmm. right now but we are talking about it you know every child there is a hadith prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says that every child is taking birth upon nature meaning every child is in good in nature later if child is disrespectful mm. later child is doing anything bad there is a story about a dacoit so he was sentenced as a life sentence and he said that i would like to see my mother mm. so police said that maybe because he is going to prison so out of emotion when they bring the daughter the mother so he tried to attack mother they stone what why you are doing it he said that in the childhood when first time i stole one of a pencil of my colleague my mom didn't say anything to me mm. she encouraged me now because of this neglectful behavior of my mom i reached in this point you know you are right i'm saying that 100% when the youth are doing like that so it is heartbreaking for parents yes. but that is why parenting is so important yes why we end up with like this sort of children yes so where is the flaw so this is that is why this topic is very important we address it yeah, definitely mulan sir because while she was saying another thing is like parents often see their child as mm. you know every every parent wants to think that their child is the best is amazing mm. is you know very good and they often overlook the the things that they are doing wrong and and mm. is that's where you know you know there's a very popular and well known link for I'll give an example you know with regards to knife crime Mm -hmm. There is a very very popular link that the people perpetrators of knife crime they come from broken homes mm -hmm. they come from places where either it's a single parent or mm -hmm. you know their parents are on some kind of substance abuse mm -hmm. or there's some kind of deficiency going on in the family home mm -hmm. now it just comes to show how important it is and as you said no one is born evil mm -hmm. you know everyone is born good and it's later your later your parents mm -hmm. your upbringing your environment that mm -hmm. changes you so once so having said that i think 
one of the main focuses on, on today's episode is regards to, you know, looking into that problem in more detail. Mm. So let's look at some parenting styles. First of all, what are the parenting styles, the different parenting styles? Yeah. Um, uh, Fizan, first of all, it is very sad in our community, mostly we don't even know that the art of parenting. Yeah. And we don't know even this is a subject. We have to read it yeah. before, you know, the going to the having a child. So we need to know that. Uh, how can I be a good father or good mm -hmm. mother is that? So the social scientists, they work on it a lot and mainly they drive four type of parenting style. Okay. And uh, I ask the viewers that they, they look at that where they stand. Yeah. So uh, the first style they are saying that they are saying that this, is, this, this style is called authoritarian style. Yeah. Authoritarian of parenting. What is this sort of parenting? In this sort of parenting, all the authority goes to parents. Yes. Which school you would like to go, which color of shoes you have it, where, what sort of friends you have it, and where are you going, what time you will sleep, what dish you will eat it. Hmm. So everything would be decided by parents. Yeah. So in this style, the social scientists, they are of the opinion, they say that maybe your children would be good discipline because of your, your grooming, but what happened, there is a lots of flaws in their personality. Mm. They cannot become a good uh, team leader. Yeah. They cannot decide anything, yeah. because from the very beginning, they start doing it spoon feeding. Yeah. And also, they feel shallow. Yeah. And they're always looking for any mentor. Yeah, and true. unfortunately, if parents die, and after that, it is very difficult to them to take off their life there. Maybe they'll get good jobs because of, you know, you provide the education and you decide, but you know that, that they are not happy, you know. So this is the one style, yeah. authoritative style. The other is a permissive style of parenting. In a per permissive style of parent, uh, parenting, parents think that we should give the full liberty to. Yeah. It is totally opposite to this style. Okay. In this style, all authority in your head. On the other style, you give all authority to your child. Yeah. Okay, it is child. Child should be look like a child. Where you would like to go? What sort of your room you have it? So you make it. So what sort of friends you have? We don't interfere anything mm -hmm. because we give a hundred percent liberty. You know, what happened? There are also negative effect of this sort of hundred percent liberty when yeah. we provide to definitely, children. Definitely. So what happened there? you know, sometimes they become overconfident. Mm -hmm. And now because from the very beginning, from the childhood, they have every, what I say that it is right. Yeah. So now they are not having adjustment uh, uh, ability. They, they can't adjust to the other people. So, uh, 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 you know, the generally their marriage is not a healthy marriage mm -hmm. because they try to take their, you know, the partner as they wish, his partner, not that. They, so where they are having a job, uh, so they are not fit for the job, they are not in a, in a team, they are not fit for the team, because everywhere they would like to be, a, they are boss and yeah. every person, so because they have this sort of habit. Yeah. And uh, that, that is also, you know, the, we ruin. And in this way, sometimes, because uh, they are not deciding which school they would like to, and most possibly, possibility, they are not getting good, you know, the oh, grades yeah. and good jobs. So this is the second parenting style. Okay. The third parenting style is a neglectful parenting. Okay. And I would like to draw, you know, the attention of the parents now because it is very common, this sort of parenting. Neglectful parenting is that I don't have time. Uh, Mostly, father, they don't know that which year my son will be. Yeah. Today's birthday or not? What is going on? Who is his friend? Mm -hmm. Your mom will take it. I give money to mom, or ask your mom. Mom is busy with that. If both are, you know, the parents are, okay. you know, uh, uh, obsessed with their careers, and nowadays, you know that what is very difficult it's to earn the means. Yeah. So both are you know, doing job. So they totally neglect their. This sort of parenting is very dangerous. Because you know what happened? Now, a uh, child feel like that he is something, you know, the unwanted. Yeah. 
now psychological issues starts. Oh. Self-harm, drugs, bad you know, company, many things because of this. Yes, the other one is authoritative, the other one, you know, permissive one in which a person has a right and do it. There are the high chances, but there is some watch over parents. But here, there is no watch. Mm -hmm. Children is totally neglected. And they, they don't love to themselves. They love to their parents, but they don't love to themselves because they think that they are unwanted people. So this is very dangerous, and I'm telling you, uh, honestly, and parents think that um, my child is going to this school and that this is the responsibility of child or this is the responsibility of masjid, this is the mother, no, responsibility of madrasa and we don't address it. What is the main problem is that my child needs my time, my attention. Yes. So this is the neglectful. And the other one is, this is the, the, the beautiful type of uh, the parenting. This is authoritative. Authoritative type of uh, style of uh, parenting is in which you guide child and also give reasons. Mm. Parents watch, parents guidance along with you with reasons. So that makes you a rational sort of child. You clean your room because you know that you, you, when your you know, friends come, they feel good. Yeah. You feel civilized. If you wear good, you know, the, you know, wear your uh, uniform, you have a good treatment in class. If you want to have a good job, you should be feel uh, tidy and neat. Yeah. So give the reasons for everything. You know that sometimes, you know, the, even children ask that, why I remove this plate from here? Yeah. I wash it after half an hour. What happened if I wash one hour? Yeah. Then you give a reason. For example, one hour, yesterday you forget it. Yeah. So then you, for, then you give a reason. And reason, uh, with the reason, you convince your child. And sometimes, you know what happened? You, child, follow your decision. For example, I asked my child to do marriage hair. Yes. So my child says that, why? Then I says that, because this is a match, her education is this, your education, her interest is your interest. Then he realized, oh yes. The other style is authoritative, you have to do marriage here. The same rishta, but the style is different. And in this style, my child is convinced and now he's happily married. Yeah. The other style, he feels burdened. Yeah. So these are the, you know, the basic styles. Wow. Well, Ansar, that was very perfectly summed up to four parenting styles. And I think a lot of people are not aware of all of these. And I personally wasn't aware of all of these. And especially with regards to um, the, the neglectful parenting style. Because, you know, that living in, in the Western society where, you know, the new kind of, the, the popular trend is that both parents are, are actually looking at their careers and they're working. And even though it's not their intention to neglect their child, a parent naturally has love mm. for their child. Mm. But, you know, they don't realize that in, the, in their busy lives, they're not finding time for their kids. And that, I think, definitely, as you said, it needs to be emphasised today. Um, Ron Saab, one of the, one, another thing I wanted to uh, just refer to a little bit, get your insight on it, was that, you know, and I'm, you know, wouldn't you say a lot of the time when you meet uh, certain people, for example, look at family friends. When you meet family friends and you see their child and you talk to their child and you see a lot of characteristic traits mm -hmm. which are similar to their parent. Mm -hmm. So you see, okay, the child, the way he talks, the way he walks, you know, his morals, kind of the way he thinks is very similar to his dad or very similar to his mom. And you can notice that in a child. So I think one of the most important things is that you know, first of all, as a parent, we should ourselves uh, look to be the best role model for our child, and the child automatically kind of conforms to your personality as well. So, also, what, what do you think about this exactly? Yeah, this is a very beautiful, very valid point, because child is a mirror of yeah. parents. And you know what happened? We start thinking about that, okay, which parenting style we follow it, but you know, the first thing, if we look at Quran, Quran says that, you have to, you have to make your character first. Mm. This is the best, you know, the parenting style. You become example to your children. 
themselves. Another verse Allah says, Kabura maqtan inda Allahi an taqulu ma la tafalun. It is a sinful act if a person says something, but he does not follow by himself by example. You know that this is the issue. Now what happened when you come in the bond of marriage? Now, now the you know the time start. You know the the the, the clock is tickling now. Now you start thinking. I have to mend my ways. And when pregnancy, now it is a time, if even at that time, observations are going on to your child. How the relation is that? Mom is you know, crying, husband is not with him, or husband is anywhere else with mm -hmm. other person, and now mother is crying in pain, that goes to child, even child is not taking birth now. Oh, wow. And now, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us a time to mend your path. When you come in a bond of marriage, immediately you think about it. If I'm doing this one, I would like to, my son would like to sim. No, so then you have to change. It is not happen, for example, if a person is doing something wrong, if I'm telling lies and I ask my child, you speak truth. Yeah. And you know, there, there is an example of one of a um, uh, very famous person, I forgot the name. When his mom sent to Madrasa Ji. to recite Quran, and uh, uh, Maulana Sahib asked, okay, beta, recite Bismillah Rahman Rahim. And he started from the 15th Jews of Quran. So Maulana Sahib asked that, where you learn from the 14th chapters? Jews, he said that, my mom was reciting all the time. Yes, so I learned 14. And you know, Fazan, um, for Tahdis and Nehmat, only for to, just to tell those parents how important is that. My younger son, uh, my the elder son is the Muhammad Hazib. He was about, I think, four or five years. My wife was teaching Quran and he was observing. And one day my wife started Qaeda to my son Asked that, okay, you start reading Qaeda, Alif, Ba, Ta, Sa, uh, Asan, Al Qaeda. And later my wife was excited. She said that, you know, that in one hour he completed the Qaeda. Wow, so, what awesome. happened? Because he was listening. Yeah. So, the atmosphere you are doing it, the, the way you are dealing with the people, if you are hit to the other person, and how you manage this one now, your children are observing. Yeah. So you manage this if you do anything, uh, you know, the, against the law, child register in the mind. And this is the parenting. You have to be, you have to be, the, that's a very important thing. You have to be mend yourself. If you would like to, your children would be praying, you have to perform your prayer yourself. Definitely. If you would like your children would be truthful, you should be truthful. Definitely. If you would like that your parents should, should be honest, you should be honest to your wife. Definitely. I know, uh, Moran Saab, we're going to resume uh, your point just there after taking a short break. So, uh, dear viewers, please stay tuned in and we'll be back right after a short break. Until then, Assalamu Alaikum wa Rahmatullahi wa Barakatuhu.